with this? Yeah, okay, 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 so Violet. Okay, so this is used for cooking, right? You guys are right. So if a recipe calls for rice, you need to how, know how much, like a cup of rice. So we use this, right? Or if we want to bake a what? Cake, Cake. yeah, good, Nia. Um, we need to be sure to get the right amount, so we use this. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, what about this? Yep, that's a ruler. So um, it's for maybe art projects at school, or if we need to draw a straight line or know the distance between inches or centimeters, we use a ruler. Okay, let's see about this next thing. Aha, what about this one? Okay, yep, all right. So we use this to figure out the size of the floor if we want to maybe buy new carpet or how much space we need to for the tent if we go camping, right? Just to figure out sometimes how tall you are. You ever get measured with one of these? I used to measure my kids every year and see how much they've grown. So what do all these things have in common? The cup, the ruler, and the measuring tape. Yes, they're measuring. Everyone in the world measures stuff all the time. If you want a new pair of Nikes, you need to measure your foot. So you what? You know your shoe size. We measure when we cook so we can have enough food, like pizza for everybody. We have fun with measuring too. We talk about the tallest building in the world which is some building in Dubai, which is an Arab country that I can't pronounce. Or we talk about the fastest car in the world, which is a French super sports car. Does anybody know the name of it? Oh, you know what it's called? Okay, maybe. It's a, giant car. It's a what? It's a Bugatti. Wow, it's a Bugatti. Okay, what's the second name? Bugatti Chiron, right? Am I pronouncing that correct? Yes, Bugatti Chiron, and it gets up to, do you know how many miles per hour? Uh, 260. Close, very close, 304. Can you, yeah, let's give him a hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was saying the, the normal speed. Okay, you know what's amazing? is that, that some planes go at that distance, at that speed. So time is another way we measure when we say things like how old you are, or how long before your birthday, or how much time do you have to get ready for school, or how much time do you have to get out of school, or how much time do I have to play before I have to go to bed, or how long do I have to wait for my birthday. And I'm looking at somebody yet that has a birthday coming up. Actually, a couple people here. So we measure time and we also measure space. And we measure just about everything, right? But the thing we cannot measure is how much we're loved. And everyone wants to be valued and loved. Did you know the one who loves us most is God? He loves us so much that the Bible says his love is not even measurable. The Bible says it is beyond measure. Well, if it's beyond measure, how can we know how much he loves us? Boys and girls, Jesus came to show us what God's love looks like. Jesus said in John 14, 8 through 9, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. And in John 3, 17, you know, we always quote John 3, 16. But I love John 3, 17 too. It says, God sent his son to the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus lived on the earth 
So he knows what it's like when we're hurting or when we're sad, when we're lonely or deeply troubled. Anybody here ever have problems? Absolutely. Sometimes maybe you can't get your homework done in time so you can go out and play with everybody. Or what about that person at school that kind of picks at you or looks at you a funny way? So we all have problems, don't we? Or maybe, maybe sometimes we feel like maybe the teacher doesn't quite understand us. Do you know that we can take these problems to the Lord? God's love for us is huge. Romans 8, 38 through 9 says that neither height nor depth or anything in all creation can separate us from the love of God. There is one thing that can separate us from the love of God. Who knows what that is? Only one. Rhea? Okay, anybody know? You know what it is? Your choice. There's only one thing. Only one. It's important to remember that. Romans 5.8 says, While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jeremiah 31.3 says, He has loved us with an everlasting love. Zephaniah 3.17 says, He will quiet us with his love. What do you think that means? Quiet us. Calm us. Make us feel better. Comfort us with his love. Galatians 2.20 says, The Son of God loved us and gave himself for us. Isaiah 54.10 says, The Lord has compassion on us, and that his steadfast love will not depart from us. There's only one thing, only one thing, remember, that separates us from God. It's our choice. Psalm 63.3 says, his steadfast love is better than life. Boys and girls, the greatest thing we have is God's immeasurable love. It is so deep and so wide, we can't even measure it. And the world would be a much better place if people only knew how much God loves us and wants to show us a better way to live. Because true happiness, joy, and peace comes from knowing the Lord. Remember this as you go back to your seats. Thank you.